Hello, welcome to this video looking at lines in three space. The last video we looked at what what is the equation of a line look like and how do we find the line that goes through two points in space. In this video, what we want to look at is how can two lines um, interact with each other. Remember how in when you have uh, in 2D, the two lines can be parallel, they can be intersecting, or they can be uh, the exact same line. So what is it in three space? Let's take a look at it. So remember now, we're talking about equations of lines, uh, parametric versions of equations of lines. And so uh, it'll first depend on whether these two lines that you have have direction vectors that are scalar multiples of each other. Okay. So if you have direction vectors that are scalar multiple each other, you can have one of two different situations. Uh, they can be exactly the same line, just like in 2D. That's where you have infinitely many intersection points. Or it's possible that they could be parallel lines where there are no intersection points. Okay. So the, uh, the, can I go big screen on this? Okay, great. So if they are the same line, it would look like this, of course. Okay. If they are parallel lines, it would look like this for example. Okay. These both have direction vectors that are scalar multiples of each other. Oh, sorry. Gosh, there we go. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so, um, but then if the direction vectors are not scalar multiples of each other, then what you can have two other situations that could happen. The lines can be intersecting where there's, um, we want to have different parameters. So I don't want to have both of them have the parameter T. So I'd use W for the other parameter. But basically, there's a specific time T and a specific time W where the lines will collide. They'll share the same point. And then um, the, the last option is where you have skew lines. That might be new. These first three are very familiar to us from 2D. This guy here, this third, this fourth one here might be new to us. Uh, there, there's no values of T and W that make the lines share the same point. Let's go with the visual again, big screen. Okay, so um, intersecting, of course, share same point. Now, what exactly is skew? Skew is going to be where they aren't parallel and they aren't intersecting. Gosh, this is terrible to view here. Okay. So let me rotate. These lines are not going to intersect and they're not going to, and they're not parallel. All right, that's pretty fun. Okay. So let's see what happens uh, if I give you two lines. We're going to go through one of each situation. Okay. And look at the mechanics of, of how to figure out what's going on algebraically. And so. All right, so here are two lines, L1 and L2. For L2, we're gonna use a different parameter, just W. That way, um, it's not confusing having the same parameter, okay? Uh, so, when you have the parametric equations of a line, what you can directly get out of that is a point that's on the line and the direction vector for the line. So, the point is 5, 1, 3. And the direction vector are the multiples on t, negative 2, negative 3, 1. So that's for line 1. And for line 2, we have the point 3, negative 2, 4. And we have the direction vector 2, 3, negative 1. So the first thing we have to look at is the direction vectors. And yes, we have that the one vector is the opposite of the other. So we're either going to have these guys be the same line or they're going to be parallel lines. Here's how you do the algebra. Let's set the x's equal to each other. Okay. Assume that this is true. Assume the x's are equal. Now, if the x is going to equal, 
then let's see what happens there. So 5 minus 2t is 3 plus 2w. And we'll have 2 minus 2t is 2w. Therefore, w is going to be 1 minus t. The parameter w will always be 1 minus the parameter t. All right. If the x is going to equal each other. Now, what does this mean? What are ramifications on the y's? Let's set the y's equal to each other. So we have 1 minus 3t is equal to negative 2 plus 3w. And now we can plug in the fact that w must be 1 minus t. So we have the y's, the x's being equal. And now we're checking to see at that same param at those same parameters, are the y's equal? And so when we plug in 1 minus t for w, we end up with the following statement, basically that 1 minus 3t is 1 minus 3t. We end up with the true fact that, yes, of course, the y's will be equal at the same time. Now, remember our two situations uh, for when the one vector is a scalar multiple of the other, either you're going to have infinitely many intersection points with them being the same line, or you're going to have no intersection points with them being parallel lines. And so this is going to be the case where you have, you're assuming, let's, let's check and see about the fact that they could be the same line. And the logic that flows from that then is that if they are the same line, the x's, y's, and z's are all equal. And this is going to be the case here. Yes, the x's, y's, and z's are all equal to each other. When the x's are equal, the y's and z's are also equal. And that must be then the case where we have the same line. These are two different names for the same line. You see, parametric equations, they're not unique. You could, you could give me um, any other point that's on the line, and you can give me the direction vector being some scalar multiple, and you'll have the same line. So this is our first situation when they are the same line. Let's move to the second situation. Two different lines. Uh, the, actually, the first one is the same line, but the... Uh, the second one we altered a little bit. So we have 5, 1, 3, and then negative 2, negative 3, 1. Then we have 3, 2, negative 4, and negative 4, negative 6, 2. So when it comes to direction vectors, V is double whatever U is. So they're either going to be the same line or parallel lines. Let's go with the idea of perhaps they are the same line. So let's set the x's equal to each other. Get one parameter in terms of the other. So solving this, we end up with this um, equation, the fact that t minus 1 divided by 2, all divided by 2, is equal to w. That's fine. Now, what's the ramifications on the y's, though? When you go to the y's and replace the w with this t minus 1 over 2, you end up with the statement that is 1 minus 3t is 5 minus 3t, or that 1 equals 5, and that's a false statement. This assumption that we made that they were the same line ended up in this false statement. And so, um, same thing is going to happen with the z's, another false statement. So, the one direction vector was a scalar multiple of the other, but they are not the same line. It must be the case then that they are parallel lines. Okay, the x's are equal, but the y's and z's are not equal. What's going on there is we have parallel lines. Okay, great. Let's keep going. Third situation. Two different lines here. 0.35, negative 1. Direction vector, negative 1, 3, negative 4. 0.8, negative 6, 5. Direction vector, 2, negative 4, 1. This time, there's no way to turn the vector v into the vector u by multiplying by a scalar. v is not a scalar multiple of, of u. So we're down at the, the, the uh, last two situations. Either they're going to be intersecting lines or they're going to be skew lines. So let's, let's, let's go with the idea uh, that they could possibly be intersecting, and let's, let's see where that leads us. If they are intersecting, then the x is going to be equal. This will give us a connection between the parameters. And then we can, if they're going to be intersecting, then at that, at that same set of parameters, then the y's will be equal. Replace the, dub, uh, replace the t with the negative 5 minus 2w. And you'll be able to get a single equation in w telling us that when w is negative 2, the x's and y's will be the same. We can plug back into what t is. 
uh, to find out what t is, t is negative 1. When w is negative 2 and when t is negative 1, they are exactly matching x's and y's, so they should match the z's then. You see, uh, the options are either intersecting or skew. Skew lines don't intersect at all, and they're not parallel, and so we wouldn't have this happening in the case where the x's and the y's and the z's are all equal. And so when we plug this in, w being minus 2 and t being negative 1, we do get the fact that the z's are equal at the same time. The, the z is a 3. We can figure out what the x and the y are. These are intersecting lines. We have uh, either L1 or L2. Let's use L1 and plug in t equals negative 1 to find out that the point is 4, 2, 3. When the x's are equal, the y's and the z's are also equal. We're in a situation where at the bottom, where the one vector is not a scalar multiple of the other, it must be that they are intersecting lines. Okay. And then the last slide is the last option. We're already 11 minutes in. Sorry about that. But here we go. Two different lines here. Let me go through quickly. We've got our point and vector, point and vector. The two vectors are not scalar multiples of each other. Let's go with the assumption perhaps that they are um, um, intersecting lines by setting the x is equal. That would cause the connection between the parameters to be the fact that t is double um, w minus 1. And then if they are intersecting at the same time, uh, we'll have the parameter of the, the y's being equal to each other. We can replace the t parameter with 2w minus 1. And we'll be able to find out that w is minus 1 and t is equal to negative 3. But when we go to set the x, z is equal, because, you know, if they're intersecting, the x's, y's, and the z's are all equal at the same time, this ends up being a, a, a false statement here, plugging t equals negative 1 in, and I'm sorry, plugging w equals negative 1 in, and t equals negative 3 in, what happens there is that we get a false statement. The z's aren't equal. The x's and y's are equal to each other, but the z's are not. At, at, um, at time t equals negative 3 in, and time w equals negative 1, we have the x and y's being the same, but the z's are different. See, what happens with skew lines is that they occur on parallel planes. The z's will be different. Or we could, we could, you know, start with z and make it so the x's are different. But I just want to go in alphabetical order here. And so what's going on is that the one vector is not a scalar multiple of the other. We thought they might be intersecting that followed through with the x's and y's, but it didn't follow through with the z's. So they are not intersecting. Therefore, they must be skewed. So um, I reworked these slides. Hopefully, it's uh, more helpful uh, than what I had before. Uh, my name is Nakaya Rimmer. I'm here to help you through this uh, journey. Uh, right now, we're just doing vectors and lines in space. Um, you can please uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, comment down below, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Sorry this video was so long. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye.